how to get started with the home layer application in this step-by-step -step tutorial i'm going to be showing you how we can get started so this place is a friendly section where we can build uh, a lot of stuff speaking about websites speaking about web applications so custom management is going to be helping us a lot to get started and of course it's really for free there are a few f uh, plans if you want to check it out but in my case we want to stick around with the free version so here i'm going to go into launch.homebla.org and what you want to import is the website that you want to create. In my case, I'm going to type for Tag Express and hit into Launch Now. So it's going to be checking what is the actual domain. So what you want to do is to import the version 4.2. If there is another version that's a little bit more upgraded, you want to choose that one. In my case, I'm going to stick around with this version and hit into the actual continue. Now, as you can see, it says you have to renew your website every month. If you don't want to do that, what you can do is to choose another version. But in my case, I'm gonna stick around with the 4.2. And then what we want to do is to create an account. So import all your information, import your email address, as well as your passcode, a phone number, the country, and what is your plan to build. After that, you want to agree to the terms of service and hit into register. So as you can see, you have now been redirected into the cloud control panel. So what I want to do is to first of all verify my account. And after that, I want to just focus into the cloud control panel. So I'm going to just delete this part. And as you can see, we have the action center. This action center is going to be helping us to locate what are the things that we need to fill before we can get started with our free domain. So as you can see, we have our product, our service, the status, the renewal, the upgrade and the terminate. So what I want to do is just to wait till the cloud has to active our free domain so we can get started. So there you go. So as you can see, it says uh, active renew in 30 days and we want to just go into managed so this one is going to be sending into the actual client area which in our case is this actual control panel here's the application the domain name the server security and the product billing so what we want to do in order to get started is to actually look out for the actual shop and pull your site down here you can choose these which uh cms is right for you so i'm going to go and scroll for start now or the wordpress so i think it's going to be just a little bit more easier to use than the home uh, easy to use and the flexibility so this is the choose your product create a free subdomain so i want to choose the name of my subdomain let's say for example to express uh the cloud access dot host i'm going to hit into next step this one is going to be taking me this one is going to be taking me into the choose a domain name once again we have the this is the actual version the wordpress and what do you plan to build i'm going to type for an e-commerce store online you can hit into next step the order summary as you can see we have the free wordpress site the wordpress version the pre-installed data the domain of course and of course this one has to see as free once we have successfully added that, you want to look out for the checkout and you just have to make the payment. In our case, we don't have to input any kind of payment because this is like totally for free. So here's my checkout, the free order. Let's stay in touch. Do you want to leave it into no if you want to or, or yes, whatever you want. You want to agree to the terms of service. And after that, you want to agree that you're not a robot and complete your order. So I'm going to just move on into your cloud control panel so I can start building without any restrictions. So as you can see now, I'm into the dashboard of WordPress. If you have used a WordPress before, you don't have to worry about that. But if you haven't used it, I mean, it's exactly the same thing. Just focused into plugins. And here into plugins, there's a lot of actual stuff that we can uh, download, which to totally for free. So I'm gonna go into add new. And as you can see, instead of saying, please upgrade your WordPress, it's gonna be appearing something like compatible with your version of WordPress. So you can add really, really a lot of stuff that are, of course, totally for free. For example, I'm gonna look out for Elementor. Elementor is a great place to start to build your very custom website. So I'm gonna hit into Elementor Website Builder, hit into Install Now. And as you can see, the plugin has now been installed. So lastly, what I just need to do is to active this actual plugin and for that you can go back again into your plugins hit into the install plugins and here you want to locate your elementor and hit into activate and boom my plugin is now going to be active so i can start working into my actual wordpress website 
Now this one is going to be sending you of course into the elementary section. What you want to do is to hit into the X mark. I don't want to focus a lot here. So I just want to go back into my dashboard and look out for Elementor. And here I want to start by creating some templates. So I'm going to go for templates. I'm going to hit into theme builder, landing page, pop-ups, add new, whatever you want to. So I can add a new landing page and it's going to be sending me into the Elementor editor. So once again, this was actually totally for free. If you want to use another server uh, that wasn't the WordPress, you can do that. Once again, go back into your cloudaccess.net. And as you can see, this is the one that we have just created. So instead of choosing managed, go for login. So this one is going to be popping from another actual tab. So let's get into open site inside the section which is Cassiopeia. After I have just signed it in, we have the home dashboard, we have the content, menus, component users, and much more. So here into my site, let's say that I want to add some plugins, I want to add media, I want to add an article, I'm going to hit into plus. And this one's going to be sending me into the creator of my article inside Joomla. So I'm going to hit into no. Here's my content. You can add an HTML file if you want to. You can add images, links. You can add an options, publishing, configure edit screen, permissions, and much more. After that, you can go into save and close, and then you're actually good to go. In my case, I'm going to hit into cancel. And let's see what are all the stuff that we can add into our actual our website. So go back into your home dashboard. And here's your home dashboard, here's the site, and you can add some models and you can add a plugins as we used it before inside WordPress. So here I have the authentication of cookies, I have CAPTCHA, I have the content fields. So speaking about what is the main difference between the Joomla and Elements, or I think Elements is gonna be a little bit more easier because um, there's more, more visual stuff inside Elements or than Joomla. So that's the reason why I chose Elementor to start creating my website totally for free. And here you want to uh, change the title, you can change your link, you can use another image, and voila! After that, hit into Published, and this actual host is going to be creating a landing page. So if I hit into Have a Look, it's going to be popping out a new section of how it's going to be looking my actual website. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started by creating a free website using uh, Joomla or Joomla. Um, you have actually two servers, the one that is actually from Joomla and the other one is from the WordPress. Both of them are totally for free and the process, as you can see, it was exactly the same. So you don't have to worry about if you don't know how to use Joomla, you can use WordPress as we did before here. So with that being said, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools about the cloudaccess.net and of course the actual Joomla. Thank you so much for watching the video. Well, I'll see you in the next video, guys. See you soon.